Hi everyone, I am Eddie Baskoro. Welcome again to MA3051. In this section, we are going to present you one of the important notions in graph, namely isomorphism. Let's start with the definition. Two graphs G and H are identical if they both have exactly the same vertex set and the edge set. If two graphs are identical, then they can be clearly represented by identical diagrams. However, it's also possible for graphs that are not identical to have essentially the same diagram. In this case, we call these graphs are isomorphic. To be precise, graph G and H are isomorphic if there exists bijection P from Vg to Vh such that this bijection preserves the adjacency. It means that Uv in an edge in G if and only if Pu, Pv, an edge in H. For instance, Graph G1 and G2 are identical since the vertex set of G1 and G2 are the same, which is V, A, B, C, D. And they both have the same edge set, which is E, here, which is the set of E, F, G, H, I, J, K. And in this case, Actually, we draw the same graph in different ways. Now, look at G2 and G3. Their diagrams look the same, but the labeling of the vertices and the edges here are different. Here, for, for instance, this vertex labeled by A but this vertex label by V1. But the, their structures are the same. So in this case, G2 and G3 are isomorphic. The bijection P from G2 to G3 here is an isomorphism. You can easily check that this mapping preserve the adjacency. So here you can see A map to V1 and then B map to V2, C map to V3 and then D map to uh, V4. Yeah? So you can easily check that this is uh, an isomorphism. Now see this three graph F, G and H. Which ones are isomorphic? We can see that all graphs have seven vertices and nine edges. There are three vertices of degree two in red color, and then four vertices of degree three in blue colors. Yeah? F and G have two triangles here, but in H, there is only one triangle. So, H is neither isomorphic to F nor G. What about F and G? Are they isomorphic? Let's have a look. If F is isomorphic to G, then there is a bijection P from VF to VG, which preserve the adjacency. Now define a mapping P 
from f to g here as follows and we can check that this mapping preserves the adjacency for for example here we have an edge from a1 to a4 in f and then we map a1 to b uh, b5 yeah a1 to b5 and then a4 to b4 then we also have an edge from b5 to b4 and g and then if we don't have an edge in f for example here uh, a1 to a6 there is no edge uh, in f in the mapping yeah we also do not have an edge from uh, p1 pa1 to pa6 that that means here uh, b5 to b6 in j and you can check that this mapping is an isomorphism between f to g so f and g are isomorphic in general a large graph for a large graph is difficult to tell whether two graphs are isomorphic but we know that if two graphs are isomorphic then they must have the same degree sequence however conversely it's not always true this is one of the example in fact we have many 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 examples for that these two graphs having the same degree sequence this is four four times and then three uh, four times however they are not isomorphic why do you know why i give you one minute to think about this is the reason this graph are not isomorphic since in graph g in the right side in the right side the four vertices of the degree four which is in red form a cycle but in a graph f in left side they not form a cycle so the structure are different so that means f here not isomorphic to g here okay so this slide give you some exercise i give you two exercise this is the first one and this is the second one you can work on it to get more understanding on the notion of isomorphism in graph okay this is the end of the section and thank you